Yeah, I was trying to hide out a frame and pop in, but that didn't work too well. Who's good, Potato Spin Leak here, and it's time for a movie review. It's been a while since I've done anything like this, so uh, I'm just going to go ahead and hop in. I was scrolling through Facebook, going through my feed, looking for memes to see, looking for funny videos, maybe looking for something interesting, pictures of puppies and kittens, shit like that. But instead, I found a, a post from a friend giving credit to Ice Cube for being the first black man to survive in a horror movie, which would have been Anaconda. First of all, that's barely even a horror movie. Second of all, Manton Moreland survived in a horror movie in 1941, and that was King of the Zombies, which is on my 12 film, no, yeah, 12 film Flesh Fest uh, DVD. I think I have it close by. Right here. Yeet! I hope nothing in there broke because I love most of the shit on there. But the movie he survived in was King of the Zombies. It was a very boring movie. It was flat. The things that were desired of the audience at that point in time, the expectations weren't high. The quality was extremely lacking. You've seen pre-40s movies. And the reason I immediately followed up with uh, Manton Moreland, a 1940s black comedian whose shit was edgy and risky, who I fucking love dearly, is his character is the only viable one in the entire film. It's the only part that stands out. It's the only thing about the movie that I enjoy. Now, basically, you have uh, two people looking for a missing admiral out in the Pacific. They land on an island. They can't get out. There's an Austrian doctor. There's a bunch of zombies. There's voodoo. There's there's hypnotism. There's all that fun, crazy shit. But it's an hour of nothing happening. It's a bunch of dudes talking and zombies popping in. The character Jeff, though, is exciting and fun and entertaining. Even though he's extremely offensive now. M most of the character is self-deprivation. Um, these days, yeah, there will be public outrage, but you know what? There's, there's something I gotta say. I'm not gonna get all political with this. No, I'm just gonna say one thing. At that time, it was socially acceptable. It's not now, but at that point in time, it was good. And the character, even though there are layers upon layers that you have to dig through, is so fun. He's the most energetic one in the entire film. He's the most knowledgeable, even though he pretends to be a complete and total moron. And this character is just tons and tons of fun. Now, Manton Moreland, in general, is a, is a fairly risky kind of guy. But he is funny as all hell. He, he made this movie. It's not a great movie anymore, but he totally fucking made it. That only reason I acknowledge that this film even exists is because of his character. Cinematography, jack shit. Acting, jack shit. Plot, shit. And then here comes Jeff. And suddenly, there's a little twinkle in my eye. I'm having fun. I'm watching this shit. All because I see one interesting character. And, you know, we need more stuff like that. We, we need more characters like that. I don't care about the genre. We need that one character that we can latch onto and have fun with. That it doesn't matter what's going on. Something to alleviate the anxiety. Now, understand, sometimes you want things to be tense, but at the same time, there has to be a fun aspect of it. Movies that take themselves too seriously when branching outside of the norm are just fucking annoying. But, uh, I'm going off on a tangent. What would I rate this film? Two potatoes. One is strictly for a character in the movie. The movie on its own? Not even really a potato. And I, I love older films. I love black and white films. Especially Vincent Price's shit. I also like a little bit of Bob Hope. But um, this movie's walking away with two. It was a B movie in the 40s. And that takes some fucking work. Uh, Actually, I think if you want to watch the movie. I'll, I'll see if I can post a link to it in the description down below. Yeah, feel free to check it out. What were your thoughts on this movie? Have you seen it before? If not, down there. Like, comment, subscribe. Keep on keeping on. I am... Probably going to chug a monster and then fight sleep. Later!